Hello there, my name is Derek. This is my companion, Huckleberry. In this video, we're gonna show you how to step-by-step -step turn your ordinary, mundane, run-of-the-mill kayak into an absolute hunting machine. Duck hunting, turkey hunting, deer hunting, whatever. Fish hunting, doesn't matter. So sit back and relax and pour yourself a uh, nice glass of Kentucky bourbon. Tonight, I've opted for Old Forester 1920. It's delicious, tastes like America. It's the best $60 that you can spend. So enjoy the video, cheers. <laughs> So I've got the kayak sanded down really good. Took off some of the hardware. These bungees back here. And uh, left some of it on like foot rails. And I'm gonna leave the hatch on. I'm just gonna coat it all in a primer. And then put the base coat on and camo the whole thing out. Figure that's easier than taking everything off and trying to secure all these screws back in here without there being any leaks so sand it down really good i'm gonna uh i'm gonna blow all the dust out i already vacuumed it out but i'm gonna get my blower and uh make sure i got all the dust out before applying the primer hey boy All right, as you can see, the boat is completely primed now. Looking good, took a whole lot of paint. As you can see, it's a pretty large kayak, 12 foot. And I painted the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, now to get started on the base layer, which is khaki. All right, painted the boat, khaki color, the base layer. Put a couple coats on top already. If you can see areas like this where there's just like a little bit of the white still popping through. And I got a couple more cans of the khaki. I'm gonna go over it again, but that just might be uh, kind of impossible to, to, uh, to remedy. But hopefully with the other colors added to it, it'll just kind of blend in and disappear. <clears throat> All right, I put on another coat of the beige. Uh, kind of got rid of those, you know, the white cracks that were showing through. But the more paint you put on, it sealed up those cracks. And it's all a flush beige color now, or khaki rather. I pulled some foliage uh, out from around my house and my yard. It's Florida, it's everywhere. Some weeds, some moss, some, uh, some ferns here, some uh, salt palmettos. And we'll start the stenciling camo process. So I'm starting with the next lightest color, which is uh, this lighter green, this army green. 
starting with some moss here and just kind of peppering it in to start with turn out pretty good just laying the moss down on top and having at it pretty good and once it's layered it'll look really good with all the colors of different foliage all right so as you can see i started with the army green and i've just used the moss and it turned out pretty awesome i'm using kind of the underside of this as my test run obviously it'll be in the water and not visible but uh the moss starting with the moss is giving it this really awesome kind of gator looking color and finish design so it should turn out pretty good all right next color darker green hit it up with some ferns the dark green and that's how it's done all right, yo Betsy Ross looking fucking sweet so far. Finished with the darker green. Now I'm just gonna go back up, pepper in a little bit of black, and this will be set. Looking damn good. And I'm just mixing up the foliage. Got some ferns, got some little twigs, branches, leaves. Huckleberry, what you doing, boy? Oh, that's just what I'm using. Black coming up. All right, so I got the bottom done. I'm gonna go, uh, probably gonna put a little more on the bottom at the end. And so now I'm gonna do the top here, put another coat of the khaki just to hide any Thing white coming up like there I'll probably spray that down one more time All right, here it is. Turned out awesome. Look at that bad boy. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I did the army green, the deep green. After doing the whole thing in uh, khaki color, obviously. And I just peppered in different foliage and then to end it, I used these kind of saw palmettos and went over it, just touched it up in the black, as you can see there, to kind of give it a 3D effect, really make it pop. Pretty happy with it. I just got to put the uh, clear coat on now, the protective matte finished clear coat. And then that'll be it. So I've already started doing my uh, the paddle here. That's 
pretty much done. Bad ass. Finish it up. Slap on a coat of this. Make it pop. Give it some protection. All right, clear coat is on. I'm done. Pretty happy with it. Couldn't be happier. Fuck yeah. Painted my paddle here. Probably paint my rifle, my hunting rifle next. My shotgun's already camoed. But am I compound bows camoed that's it man pretty good clear coat at the bottom too i live in florida and i hunt right now exclusively in florida so I didn't want too much of that khaki showing through. Everything down here in the swamp is very, very green. Every shade of green you can imagine. That's my dog, Huckleberry. Hey, boy. Hey. And I gave my seat here a little bit of green as well. That thing's up on a platform, slides right in there so you sit up sit up high <clears throat> makes fishing really nice it's comfortable all right that's a wrap